Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to the Chaps Guide. Now, those of you who have followed the channel for a while will realise that we're not just about men's style. We also like to do a few reviews as well on products. And of late, I've done a number of videos on double-edged shaving or wet shaving, shaving with a safety razor. And uh, a new product, or relatively new product, has come onto the market in the UK that I'm going to take the opportunity to show you today whilst I have a shave. And it is the... The double-edged safety razor by King C. Gillette, or King C. Gillette safety razor, I've heard it referred to. But it's a new product from the Gillette Corporation, and uh, it's actually pretty good. I've already, um, I received this a few days ago, I've had one shave with it, because I wanted to have the opportunity of trying it before I tried it with you guys, just so I get a good overview of the characteristics of this razor and that sort of thing. So this razor itself, it's been on sale in North America for some time. And I think within the last few weeks, it's been made available on the Gillette UK website, which is where I bought this product from. It costs 20 pounds, uh, but with the, you know, the, the discount voucher that you get just for going onto the website, I think I got it for 16 pounds delivered to my home within, uh, within about 48 hours. So it's a really good uh, product when it comes to delivery and that sort of thing. So what do we get? Well, as you can see, this nice little box arrived through my door. And inside the box, we find that chrome-plated double-edged razor. Uh, and also, very pleasantly, a little pack of five razor blades, which uh, are badged up as King C Gillette as well. So not too bad, you know, for, for 16 pounds. So let's get the razor out so you can see it. Right, here we go. So, there we have um, what one can only describe as a three-piece, non-adjustable, double-edged, chrome-plated razor. Now, it's got quite a bit of weight to it. I'd say it's probably touching 100 grams. And it's got, uh, as you can see, the shaft of the razor is about 50% of that shaft has got some, some noodling to help it nice and easy to grip. And then the bottom half of the razor is quite sheer, quite... Uh, quite sort of shiny construction, just chrome plated, so quite straightforward, you know, not unlike, you know, the vast majority of other non-adjustable three-piece razors. Opens up in the usual way, you just unscrew the shaft, like so, and our razor splits into three, two edges on the top, and in fact I have a razor blade in place, so there's the razor, that's one of these new Gillette uh, King C razors, which came with the, with the actual um, with with the uh, the razor, uh, so I'm just going to screw that back into place, and then we will have our total razor. On first sight, what can I tell you? It's well constructed. It's got some nice heft to it. Um, it's it's a nice looking razor. Fits all together. The tolerances are very good, and you know for 16 pounds, it feels like it's quite a good thing. So that's and of course the proof is in the pudding. In this case, the proof is in the shaving. So we're gonna shave with that in a moment. So let's put that to one side. So just to tell you what I'm doing today, I'm out at my outdoor shaving station, which is something which I've set up uh, in, the, in the countryside, because I like to shave, um, not just in the bathroom, I like to get some enjoyment out of this experience. So um, I look around because I can hear the sounds of nature all around me. It's nine o'clock on a Sunday morning in June in the UK. Um, so you know, you know the, in, where I am and what I'm doing. In front of me on my shaving station, I've got a mug of hot water, which I'm going to use principally for dipping my razor in, clearing it after the passes. A little uh, enamelware bow, which I use to, to build my lather. Uh, and today, along with that razor, I'm going to be using as a shaving soap. I'm using some absolutely lovely, oh, get the, the sun is quite bright this morning. It is June. This is Castle Forbes, uh, and this is the cedarwood and sandalwood shaving foam, or cream, whatever you want to call it, and uh, oh, it's got a, a beautiful aromatic fragrances of sandalwood, and more than anything, the, the cedar wood is what comes across, and I found Castle Forbes, Scottish company, as so many shaving cream manufacturers are, they make an excellent product, and this is really good. Definitely on par with, you know, your Trumper, and your Taylorsville Bond Street, um, and, you know, D.R. Harris down in London. These are definitely up there, really good quality, very fragrant actually they have a they definitely carry a good smell uh, now to apply that to my face today i'm going to be using a yaki uh, this is a 26 millimeter synthetic knot brush which i've had for a little while this is the timberwolf variant uh, with the blue handle as you can see it's a lovely um 
brush actually nice uh, good quality it's got good backbone to it you know it, it makes the the shaving cream go on very nicely lathers quite nicely and of course there's the added advantage of there being no efficacy problems thinking about those poor badgers who've had their bristles harvested for a brush actually i prefer bristle brushes but i like to use synthetic to get a good good view of what's out there this is the 26 millimeter knot very modestly priced you can buy these on aliexpress or youtube sub 20 pounds and it's a brush that potentially last you for for decades so no worries about investing in that so what am i going to do right i am just going to dampen my brush down um, and i am going to apply just a little bit of the castle forbes to the end of my brush and then i'm going to take my little container here and I'm going to build a lather really quickly a bit more water on my brush and uh, there we go already got a nice little lather coming here get some backbone into it you know stick your your shoulder into it and very quickly a very pleasing lather with a very pleasing fragrance is emanating from this bowl and I look forward to putting that onto my skin but before I do that I'm just going to dampen my face I've got a little bit of extra water here which I'm just going to use to get the skin ready for the shaving cream. So there we go. Now, and I, excuse me if I look this way, my mirror is just in front of me here. So if I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking at the mirror, apologies for that. But uh, there we go. And as all wet shavers know, this is the moment of joy. The application of the lather to the skin where you get that lovely, you know, that, that smell, the fragrance from the, the shaving foam cream coming across and uh, you know it's exfoliating on the skin as well it's lovely it's a great experience for me this is the the pleasurable part of the shave and i really enjoy this so particularly when you've got a lovely shaving cream which is doing its job perfectly for me today i do like cedarwood it's one of my favorite fragrances um and this is as good as anyone i actually if anything tend to favor taylorsville bond street cedarwood but this one is certainly on a par. And I've, this is the first pot of this stuff I've used. And I have to say, I, uh, I will be buying it again, which is great stuff. Right, there we go. So that's the shaving foam or cream applied to my face. Now let's get this, this uh, Gillette King C razor here. And let's just warm it up in the hot water because I think steel always works a bit better when it's warm. And I'm going to apply it to the face. And let's see how it goes. I've tried this once before, so this blade is the second time of use. Well, let's see if it still feels good. Uh, yeah, pretty effortless. No trouble at all. No trouble at all. Yeah, quite pleasing actually. It's a nice feel to this razor. It's got sufficient weight for you to know that it's. Uh, you know, it's, it's a piece of steel in the hand. You know that you've got something hefty in your hand, which is reassuring, I guess. Uh, I noticed from the pack that it's made in, in China, however. So for those of you who might have efficacy problems about purchasing uh, items which are from China, which I know is becoming more of an issue around the world these days, as China uh, is a bit of a prior state increasingly, um, you know, it's for you to decide but the Gillette company, of course, I dare say, like all other big companies, will, will have made the appropriate checks and be sure that their products are, you know, manufactured in appropriate circumstances. Now, the King C Gillette, interesting, named after the founder, of course, of the Gillette company. King C, it's a funny name. The C stands for Camp. So the founder of Gillette, his name was actually King uh, Camp Gillette. So a very interesting name, actually, in the modern era. You don't hear that very often, do you? And uh, he was born in 1855 in uh, Minnesota, I believe. Oh, sorry, Wisconsin. Many apologies to our viewers in Wisconsin. I wouldn't like to do you out of one of your state's most famous sons. And uh, he invented, or is credited at least, with inventing this safety razor, the blade that I'm using today, uh, way back in you know the uh, the late 1800s at least now we founded the gillette company in 1901 and that's proudly emblazoned upon the box uh, as founded in 1901 and that certainly would have been one of the first manufacturers to have founded a razor blade company 
Uh, and it began, of course, the Gillette story, the remarkable story, which has led to Gillette being where it is today. Now, it's thought that King Gillette uh, was the guy, really, who started off um, what they call the, you know, the, the, the blade business model with razor blades. That being, you know, where basically they sell the razors, the actual machine, quite cheaply so that they can make their money on the reselling of the blades. And of course, in the modern era, with the cartridge blades being... God, the countryside is loud, isn't it? Uh, being so expensive, you can see how that's working out for them. So that's the first pass. I've only quickly gone over there, and I have to say, not bad. Very easy, very effective, very efficient to cut the, 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 the bristles on the skin. No worries with that, so I'm quite pleased with this blade so far. I'm going to do a second pass. Um, whilst I'm here, a little bit more water on the face, as I've got the chance. There we go, keep it nice and slick. Make it nice and easy for that blade to do its work. A bit more, bit more soap on the face. And uh, yeah, I can't say, I, I, I would say at this point that the actual razor blade itself, the blade, is, is mild. Um, I normally use either a feathers blade or a derby blade depending on my mood and how clean I want to be shaven. And I would say this is, you know, certainly edging towards the mild. In my view, so far, I've only used it twice. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. So, how am I finding the use of this so far? Um, fits easily in the hand. The slick bit at the bottom, my hands, you know, being wet, intermittently shaving, not really too slippery. The knurling makes it nice and easy to grip. The weight of the blade makes it nice and easy to draw across the face. I'm doing a second pass on the upper half of my face from side to side, so across the grain. Whereas in the first case, I shave with the grain, and uh, yeah, effortless. Effortless, easy, nice and slick. Beautiful, not bad. Very impressed, actually. The other side of the face, just exactly the same. Bring that across. Yep, no worries. Cutting through the bristles, I can hear them doing their work, this blade. Very happy with that. Now, uh, Mr. Gillette was an interesting character, as I say. Um, he had his success. Company did very well, very well indeed. He didn't. He died actually in 1932, I believe, if I recall, having done my research beforehand at the age of 77. So he had a long life for that era, and he made a huge amount of money out of it. It's been a a very successful business model, no doubt at all. Uh, today, Gillette is no longer in any sort of private or family ownership. Of course, it was. Uh, Hoovered up by Procter and Gamble, the huge conglomerate, in 2000, and, I think it was 2005, and even back then they paid, you know, um, 57 billion US dollars for it, making it an extremely valuable acquisition. Oh yeah, do you know what? This is a really nice shave. This is. I don't always um, do a second pass against the grain at, on this part of my face because I do get irritation in the neck area from time to time. So I often, you know, don't do a second pass on the lower half. Or if I do, I'm very ginger about it. But I have to say with this razor, it's actually making it nice and easy and effortless. So yeah, I'm very pleased with the, with the angles involved here. Yeah, I'm not feeling any, you know, pulling or discomfort or anything like that. Yeah, so I guess they've they've uh, created this blade in homage to its founder, giving it that name, or certainly coming up with a new branch of products using the King C Gillette, pulling upon that heritage um, as as a as a marketing ploy or whatever. But that works as long as the product is good. And in this case, I'm going to say I've shaved twice with this blade now, or with this with this blade and the razor. So just touching up the little areas. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard to argue with it if, it if it shaves well, isn't it? So there we go. I've had two quick shaves with that. And I'm just going to wet my face off. Get rid of any bits of shaving cream which are hanging on. There we go. So as I said, I, recently I've been suffering with a bit of you know, irritation under the neck uh, from very close shaving perhaps, or you know, the weather, whatever. So just to try and counter that, I'm gonna use a bit of Humphreys Witch Hazel. 
uh, as an astringent, which will help with closing those pores and, of course, um, keeping me free from any infections that might leap in. I'm just going to use that as a splash on. And uh, why not? All over the face, why not? Let that rub that in and let that do its work, just looking after the skin as I've just run a blade over it. And uh, yeah, feels good. Feels very good indeed. So, nearly there now. I'm just going to use a bit of balm in a moment and let that witch hazel dissipate. And my judgment so far on this, after two shaves, giving it a good workout, I've shaved in the bathroom, I've taken it to the great outdoors, and on your behalf, I've trialled it, you know, four-wheel drive, so to speak, <laughs> in the rough. And I have to say, I am impressed with this. For the amount of money, you know, you can pay a lot more money for much more fanciful razors, which have been made in Germany, and I dare say the engineering is, you know, better, no doubt. But actually, this product I've been impressed with. If you're thinking about getting into wet shaving, uh, or double-edged razor shaving, this could be a very sensible investment for you because it's not a huge amount of money and you're going to get a fairly good product here for that investment. Bear in mind that it is made in China uh, if you've got issues around that sort of thing, so just to make you aware of that, but it's a good little offering from the Gillette company, particularly as, you know, it's unusual to see Gillette bringing out a, a double-edged razor when one would argue their mainstay of their business is cartridge razors, which is hugely profitable uh, for them, I would imagine. So worth bearing in mind that they've brought this out. And I know they've brought some other uh, safety razors out in the past, heritage lines and what have you, uh, which have been very successful. I don't know if they're going to bring these out in a limited run. So if you are interested in getting one, it might be worth striking quickly. It's a very fast and efficient process buying it through the Gillette UK website. Wherever you are in the world, look up your own Gillette website and uh, I'm sure there'll be either provision at the moment for you to get one of these or in the very uh, near future they will be selling them because, let's be honest, it's all about profit. They want to sell these things. So there we go. Uh, now just to finish my shave off, the witch hazel has now left my face feeling lovely. Uh, I'm just going to apply some balm. I always finish my shames with a bit of balm, and today it's Le Eau de Izzy Pohom, uh, which is a lovely summery fragrance. Uh, it's an aftershave balm, this one. Very simple and straightforward, but it's got a lovely summery fragrance. I always think it's very reminiscent of, of the outdoors. Bit of I can smell a bit of grass in there, and as I'm surrounded by grass today, I thought I'd go with something which reminded me of that. So I'm just going to rub that in, and just replenish those oils which uh, I've just scraped off perhaps with my with my razor actually that was so nice and it went in so quickly I'm gonna put a bit more on whilst my skin is in the mood to take it I'm gonna give it so there we go ah very nice now my skin feels great and smells great um, now I know there's going to be loads of reviews on YouTube around this King C Gillette my initial thought would be you know if you're an entrenched, you know, really uh, skilled shaver, this might be a little bit pedestrian for you. It's not uh, particularly aggressive, and with that blade, I would say it's definitely mild. So it's probably ideal for somebody who's starting off, who perhaps wants to have a go of double-edged razors. You don't want to spend a pile of dough. That might be a good starting point for you. So that's kind of where I am with it. That's my thoughts. I think for the amount of money, it's a good investment, and I'm glad I've added it to my collection. When weighed up against the Wilkinson Sword entry-level double-edged razor, which I trialled in a recent video, um, I prefer this. Now, that was a, a butterfly opening, twist-to-open type razor, and for me, I like the three-piece because it, it has definitely uh, a different feeling of solidity, which I don't get. You know, you do get that little bit of a rattle when you've got the twist-to-open ones. Don't get that at all with this. This is obviously a solid unit. Now it's all screwed up and it feels like, you know, a really robust thing. So there we go. That's my shave today in the great outdoors on a Sunday morning. I hope you've enjoyed joining me. It is now 9.30 in the morning on a Sunday. So now I've got to get about the usual chores of mowing the lawn and all that sort of thing, which us chaps have to do. So thank you for spending some time with me today as I've used this uh, this lovely King C Gillette double-edged razor uh, from you know from the Gillette company which I've told you my views um, if you have enjoyed watching me today please give me a thumbs up 
And when you're there, please also click that subscribe button if you've enjoyed our content, because you will find loads of other material on men's style, on self-development, self-improvement, and product reviews just like this. Quite recently, we focus a lot on shaving, because we get the sense, particularly from the comments, that a lot of men are thinking about or getting into double-edged shaving. Perhaps it's been the COVID-19 situation, people a lot more time at home, now not having those hurried shaves in the morning on the way to work, you can spend that little bit more time and enjoy the shaving experience. And for me, it is worth investing that little bit of time enjoying your shave, because if you enjoy something, it's no longer a chore. And if you're somebody who thought shaving was a pain in the neck or a chore, you can chore, you can do away with it, you can do away with those feelings by enjoying your shaves. And it starts with a double-edged razor. So thanks for listening today. I'll see you again soon back here at the Chaps Guide. And until then, please take care of yourself, stay safe, all the best. <laughs>